Welcome back. I am so glad to meet you here to introduce our new features in this December. Let's check out inventories, API integration, and updated category. First is inventories. From now on, you can manage assets for different branches or departments all in one place just by clicking on the inventories tab in the sidebar. Quick note, the resources will be updated accordingly when you change the inventory. To manage inventories, head to settings, then choose inventories. Here you can create, import, export, edit, or delete inventories at your preference. Also, Asset IT supports you in importing organizations from your JIRA service management. Let me show you how. Wondering how to add items into an inventory? There are many ways. You can add an item to an inventory when creating it. Or you can use Bulk Edit to add many items to an inventory at once. Besides, you can also import a CSV file, as in the given sample, with an inventory column, and the items will be sorted according to your preference. When linking assets to a JIRA issue, they will also be sorted by inventories to help you refine the search. One more thing about this new feature is some changes in the permission scheme. To secure your privacy, Asset IT allows you to edit the access permission regarding inventory in the Permission section. Next is API integration. Need to make changes to assets? Operate directly through the API for creating, updating, and deleting assets without using the app interface. Accessing this feature is easy. Just head to Preferences and choose API integration. Remember, only admins can create and manage API keys, and each user can only create the key once. And lastly, the updated category. We call it updated since we did have category before, but it used to stay with the asset model, and only licenses can be shown by category. From now on, you can freely sort and filter your items of any type by category. And that's it. Try Asset IT on Sandbox or download it on the Atlassian Marketplace today.